Cars and Coffee in Nightdale. And I believe this right here, you guys, was actually at another event. Dual changing lights right beside each other. That's really cool. GTR is a bit dirty, but that's okay. We have an incredible sleeper right here, you guys. This thing just looks so, so amazing. Every time I see one of these, I always gotta point it out because I don't think cars are gonna be like this in the future. I, there won't be any sleepers from the factory as well as Chevrolet made this one to be. This Impala body style, but it has like, like a, a legit Corvette engine inside of it. It's so awesome. My gosh, I really wish they would continue making cars like this. This is so cool. SL63 AMG, you guys. Now, funny enough, I've seen so many people with these cars, and they and all of them have always told me the same thing. This thing is so insane. And believe it or not, I believe them because I've seen one of these driving on the road, and I've seen somebody actually spin out because of it. Yeah, these things are insane. E92 BMW M3 with the competition wheels on it. I've been thinking about um, getting one of these just with the fact that it's a V8. It's somewhat easy to manage. It's somewhat easy to maintain. And the best part about it, you guys, is the fact that this engine right here is so legendary. For BMW, they're mostly uh, famous for their N-line 6 engines. Sometimes they their N-line 4 here and there. But this V8 engine, especially with the V10 engine and the E60 M5, those two cars, are going to go down in history as BMW's attempt at V8 engines and V10 engines. These things, those things were so good, and I'm so sad that BMW is getting rid of them. But I mean, we can always buy them on the used market, and I cannot wait to see these things going like museums as collectors and um, items. Just that V8 engine gargoyle it sounds so good. This Jaguar right here, you guys, holy moly, it is so nice. And, and even though it's just the regular R, it's not like the SVR or whatnot, the R can produce some of the best, um, not, not the best, but one of the best um, sounding exhausts that you can get for Jaguar. You can get, get the S, you get the S, V, uh, well, not the SV, but excuse me, you can get the SVR, but you can also get the R. For a for not as much as the SVR, I would consider the R because holy moly, the pops and bangs with this car is just so unreal. And who knows, maybe if I like Jaguar enough and I want to give it a try, I might end up getting the R Jaguar because this thing is just so gosh darn nice. It just looks so nice, looks so pretty. My goodness, I absolutely love the Jaguar, it looks so nice. Woo -wee. Holy moly, I remember seeing this thing at one on another event. My goodness, this is crazy. Make sure you guys follow these guys on Instagram. Holy moly. This is crazy, that's so cool. My, this one of the squad members is leaving. Woo! Love, absolutely love the M2. The M54 engine is such a good engine for the M2. I don't know why they swapped it to the S55. No, the, uh, the M55 engine is so much better. Those pops and gargles. Yes, the S54 can do pops and bangs, but it's more, it's not as real as the M54's, you know, gargles. The M54 gargles sound so, so much better. Oh my gosh, it, it's so good. It's so amazing. Well, you guys, today has been absolutely amazing. Met up with some amazing people. Met up with some new guys that came from Jersey and saw the incredible BMW M5, which stays close to to the channel you guys because we're gonna be doing some crazy crazy crap with the m5 as well so thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed remember to like comment subscribe if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you guys share the video out with everybody and i look forward to seeing you guys next video take care everybody and have a good day peace out <laughs>